paid. <laughs> the court heard the murder was planned by a satanic group. The teenager volunteered to killing her best friend to move into a higher position in the cult. She will spend the first part of her sentence in a juvenile jail. Ten years to us is not justice. We want the ruling party to revisit the Justice Children's Act because we are not happy with uh, the way things are done because now uh, they, they, our youth get away with murder. In passing sentence, Judge Geraldine Borchers described Kiamokhetu's murder as brutal and horrific. She said the disclosures on the satanic rituals show the teenager had no regard for life. But the judge also believes the 15-year-old can be rehabilitated as she's shown signs of remorse. It's a step towards uh, the growth of case law in our, in our country and uh, we feel that it will help uh, other youthful offenders to deter from their criminal activities. It's been another emotionally draining day for both the families of a young murder convict and the deceased. They sat quietly in court listening to the judgment. The teen in the dock who confessed to committing the crime sat face down listening to her fate being decided. The case has not only put Satanism on the spotlight, but it's also highlighted the need for parents to keep a close eye on their children. Please monitor your children on a daily basis. Monitor them. Make sure that you check her, his or her behavior because it starts with the behavior. A lot of lives have been spun into disarray. The wounds here clearly still fresh. Angobam Kunu, SAPC News, Palm Ridge.